Now let's look at brackets, which come first in bed mass. That means brackets should be done first. What brackets make you do is they make you break the other rules that you have to apply further down. But if the bracket is there, then you're allowed to break that rule. Here we have a multiplication and a subtraction. Normally, we would have to do the multiplication first. But because there's a bracket around the 3 minus 1, and bracket comes ahead of multiplication in bed mass, we're doing the bracket first. We're going to do 3 minus 1 first. So the 6 times gets copied down, and the answer to 3 minus 1, which is 2, gets written here in place of the bracket. Now, 6 times 2 is 12. We have our answer. In this second example, we have divided by, plus, and plus. But there's a bracket. Bracket comes first. We have to do the 2 plus 2 first. We copy down 12 divided by. 2 plus 2 is 4. We write that in place of the bracket. And we copy down the plus 5. Now, with no more brackets, we just have to apply the rest of the rules of bed mass, and we see divided by should be done before addition. 12 divided by 4 is 3. We copy down the plus 5, and 3 plus 5 is 8. We're finished. Let's look at a couple more examples using brackets. Here we have an example that has two brackets. When we have two brackets, we know we have to do them first because brackets comes first in bed mass. But which of the two brackets do we do first? It's the same rule that we had with addition subtraction and multiplication division. Since there are two brackets, we do the one that we get to reading left to right first. This is the one we get to first. So we are copying down 11 plus. 6 divided by 3 is 2. We write the 2 in the space of the bracket. Then we copy down the rest, divided by another bracket, 4 minus 2. Now there's only one bracket left, so that's the next thing we have to do. 4 minus 2 is 2. We write the answer in the place of the bracket, and we copy down the rest. Now we have a plus and a divided by. The D for division comes before the A for addition, so we're doing the divided by. 2 divided by 2 is 1. We copy down the 11 plus. We have 11 plus 1, and the answer is 12. Here we have another example with two brackets, but this time it's what I call nested brackets. You have a smaller bracket that is nested inside of a larger one. Notice how this is the curvy round type of bracket, and this is the square type. Is there a difference? No. The reason I used two different shapes is so that I can tell them apart when I'm reading. So that I don't get this bracket, the big one, mixed up with this bracket, the small one. When you do nested brackets, you always do the innermost first. The innermost bracket is the 4 minus 2 bracket. So we will write 3 plus, put the answer to 4 minus 2, which is 2, in place of the bracket, copy down the minus 1, Close the bracket, plus 3. Now, we have a bracket and a plus. The bracket has a lot of stuff in it, but it's a bracket and it has to be done before the addition. Inside the bracket, we follow the same rules as usual. A plus and a minus, that's a tie. We break the tie by doing the leftmost one first. So keeping my bracket, 3 plus 2 is 5. Write that answer. Copy down the minus 1 and the rest of the problem. Now the 5 minus 1 in the bracket has to be done before the addition. 5 minus 1 is 4. I write the answer. I don't need the bracket anymore. And I copy down the plus 3. 4 plus 3, of course, is 7. That's my answer. This is how you deal with nested brackets.